What's up, it's EJ Spark. I hope you are having an amazing day. And today I am reviewing the one and only Mike Posner, the man Mike Posner's new song called Mama Always Told Me, his first follow-up track to his Operation Wake Up album, which a lot of people did have mixed reviews about and were very confused about because it just was a fictional story and I don't think a lot of people got it, but I liked it. I'm guessing Mama Always Told Me featuring Stanage and Young Bay. Never heard of either of these two people. I'm guessing this one's gonna be a lot more upbeat and maybe positive than the album because that album was just so profound So I think he's gonna switch it back up like he brought all of his Instagram pictures back all his hiking stuff back He seems very happy on Instagram again, so I'm expecting big things from Mike Posner here I hope it's a jam. So let's see what we got skadoosh Yes Yes Already love that mama always told me I could do anything I want. Kind of reminds me of the same lyrics as mama said by Lucas Graham. Great theme, great topic. Love the lyrics so far, and I'm loving the guitar riffs. Let's get it. Take care of your shit. Ooh! Live your life. Yeah! Okay. Chorus drop right there. Hold up. Hold up. I said, hold up. That drop is funky. Love it so much. Oh my gosh. This is a complete 180 already. You can just tell by that intro, the pre-chorus, that chorus. Like that drop is funky. Bassline's fun. The guitar riffs are fun. Those melodies are fun. That pre-chorus, for some reason, for a second, I thought it would be a little bit of a slower song. Not quite so dance floor. But this chorus right now is completely dance floor. Love this kind of Mike Posner. Just watch. I don't know why, but this production kind of reminds me a little bit of Bruno Mars. Like, Bruno Mars is such a good songwriter, and this song just has that feel-good sound, that funky sound, on the dance floor sound that, like he says in the second verse, I'm gonna have a good day. Just positive vibes with this track right now, and, and this is a Mike Posner that I love to see. Okay. I, uh... I like that bridge. It feels like a live concert. The ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, Mike Posner. Shout out my little cousin's bar mitzvah. I like it. I see what he's doing there with it. I thought he was about to spit a rap, though. I'm not going to lie. I know Mike Posner can spit some bars. I would have spit a rap there. Still liked it. I get what he's doing there. It makes it feel like a, like a live track or something like that. I really just thought he was gonna spit some heat there, but you know, is what it is. My cool. That was a great song. I really liked it. I love the funky vibes of it. I liked the songwriting. The composition of it was really nice. I think he had a little bit of, bit of an organ back there. That bass line was funky. Uh, that chord progression of the guitar, the guitar riffs were just really nice, really fit Mike Posner's style well. And I love the melodies they provide. I really couldn't differentiate the features, so I'm not sure where they were in it exactly. It says here featuring Young Bay and Stenaj, produced by Adam Friedman, Young Bay, so that's probably where that features come from, and Mike Posner, album MP5. This says that this is gonna be off MP5, might be Mike Posner's next album. Oh, Mike Posner 5. Sounds about right. Maybe they just provided background vocals or something. I'm not sure. And then the bridge, once again, honestly, when he said, all right, uh, whoo, like they kind of had like a little breakdown there. I would have spit some heat. I would have spit like an eight bar verse right there, you know, wrapped it. But the live thing works. It's not really bad. I just would have done that differently. I think people would have really liked it if he spit an eight bar verse right there. But it's not bad. It's still good. It still made me want to get up, dance. This is a wedding song. This right here is a wedding track that you play at the reception, your aunts and your uncles, you get a little, get a little buzz of some, you know, drinks or whatever you got, and you get up on the dance floor and you have some fun, you smile, you dance, and maybe that's where that, you know, live uh, bridge comes in, where he's talking, introducing himself, cousins brought mitzvah, all that. It's for the bat mitzvahs, for the weddings, 
all that kind of stuff. Great party track. I'm gonna give this song a 7.7 .7 out of 10. In terms of the overall track, it's fun, it's great. I don't think it's as like, epic as something maybe I took a pill in Ibiza off at night alone like those songs are epic almost perfect songs all the way around but this song is nowhere near bad nowhere near bad at all great song feel good upbeat made me happy and 7.7 .7 out of 10 great score Mike Posner's back with this really like it I don't like seeing Mike Posner sad I don't think anyone likes seeing Mike Posner sad or anyone sad in general I love seeing Mike Posner happy when he's hiking when he's like a free spirit Mike Posner is such a happy free spirit and you just love to see him being like that on this track. And you could tell he's feeling good when he says today's gonna be a good day. Good God, good God, it's gonna be a good day. This song is definitely a ray of sunshine, no doubt. I love it. This song's gonna be on repeat for me. But what do you think about the song? Do you think Mike Posner hit this uh, comeback track after Operation Wake Up on the nose? Or do you still not feel this track? Would you still like to see Mike Posner do something more profound? Do you like the feel good stuff? Do you not? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Please like the video if you like it and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 400 subscribers. That's crazy. As always, you can listen to my music on all streaming platforms. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at e J Spark One, and as always, you know what it is. It's peace, love, I love s'mores. EJ out.